Okay. Welcome back to our very first video of 2020. Yes, sir. Enough said. So. <laughs> Alright, so we wanted to show you um, our most po coveted pickups of 2019 and obviously when it comes to buying a, um, your grilled piece you often have to splurge quite a lot of money because they tend to be designer and for the majority of people, including us, money can be quite a limiting factor so we wanted to bring up discussion, are designer pieces worth your money? And on that note, to assist us today we have brought our friend Quinn who's um, going to decide whether or not he can empathise in the, the idea of us purchasing our, our grill pieces in 2019. Yeah, on that note, um, let's get going. Alright, so this uh, piece here I've got um, is the Ise Miyake Autumn Winter 19 World Wind Jacket, which is from the Ise Miyake main line, men's main line, which was uh, led by head designer Yusuke Takahashi. And I think it's worth noting that um, Ise Miyake, they're quite, they're quite a big brand and they have a lot of lines, so a lot of people are quite familiar with their uh, Home Plissé line, which is more of their pleated uh, garments, but this is part of the main line. They also have a women's line, Ise Miyake women's, and they also have also an accessory main line centered around bags, which is called Bao Bao Ise Miyake, I believe. So that's kind of a little bit of uh, insight into the brand itself. So this is from, this jacket was from the collection entitled, sorry, part of the Men's Autumn Winter 19 collection titled Feeling the Wind. <laughs> and um, the collection places an emphasis on breathability and comfort, which is shown through the functionality and design of most of the pieces of the collection, if not all. And the looks and patterns are very reminiscent of the brand's early beginnings back in 1985. Um, obviously, Issei, Issei himself, the man himself, is actually, I think, 81. He's still alive, so 81. The guy retired back in 97, I believe, so he's not he's not making stuff like this anymore. He's left it down to his Japanese protégés, you know? Um, but yeah, moving back to the collection itself, a lot of the garments are flowing and light to the eye. Uh, I say light to the eye in the sense that the pieces aren't too flashy, in my opinion. And um, I believe that pieces are, you know, you can wear them in everyday life really, everyday wear, incorporate into your everyday fits as well. So I think that's kind of the mentality behind this collection at least. So let's kind of rewind back to, uh, let's say September, October 2019, Mount of the Guys, and we hit up the Issey Miyake store in London, and just looking around and, you know, come across this jacket and tried it on and I was like, damn, this jacket's actually kind of kind of fire you know like I'm kind of kind of feeling myself the way it fits and whatnot the colors going on well obviously I looked at the price tag and I was like nah no there's no way I'm buying this now let's let me let me get it when it's on sale because I know this is going to go on sale so fast forward to I say a month ago December I find that you know during that time period I did a bit of research I found that they only stocked this on Essence and they only had it within the Miyake store in London so there's only two places to get this very limited so actually a good tip if you're a big Issei fan, whether it be Home Place Say, Mainline, whatever, you can go into their store and ask the store assistant to like sign you up to their newsletter to put you onto any offers or discounts they may have and they'll notify you within their special mailing list through email. So what can I say? Tips in there. So head back to the Issei Miyaki store with Francis actually, just to make sure that they still have this in stock. And you know, the store clerk told me that um oh the jacket's no longer here. Some guy came in and just bought this full price along with <laughs> a similar jacket in a similar design. Um, but it's more of a more of a trench coat version of this jacket. And so I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I can't buy it here anymore. And it turns out that they only had um, one of each um, jacket. So one of each size in this jacket within the store. So this, yeah, so it was a really limited piece. Hard for me to actually cop within London. So my only way to get this was on Essence, luckily on Essence the jacket went off for like 70, went um 70% 70 off I believe. So that's when I just pulled the trigger, managed to uh, get a special someone from America to ship it over to me. Came through a couple days later after I, I um, paid for it and here it is. Nice. All right, so moving on to the sizing of the jacket, I got it in a size one, and I'd like to note that the sizing is a bit weird. It jumps from 
a one straight to a three and then to a five and i guess size one is a small size three to medium size five is a large i guess that's how it works and the jacket itself is made out of 100 percent polyester and i feel like it's a cross between a harrington and a bomber jacket and it features an oversized fit which is designed to accentuate the shoulders and give more of a broader physique um, this means that it's quite wide around the chest so i recommend going true to size if you have a chance to buy the jacket um, also comes with calf wrists and a very heavy duty YKK zipper like that shit can survive like a nuke or something I swear like it's a really nice zipper basically it feels really premium uh, obviously it features two side pockets this is a jacket and as well as an inner pocket with the Isimiyaki branding uh, featured within the jacket itself and um, also has a cinching mechanism so some bungee cords I guess at the bottom of the jacket to cinch in the waist because yeah, as you'll see in the B-roll, the jacket actually fits, um, drapes over the body quite a lot. And finally, 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 the print on the jacket is what really makes it stand out in this case. I think it really kind of makes it a statement, well, makes it a statement piece here because the jacket itself gives the impression that um, there's one flawless paintbrush done across the entirety of the jacket. Um, but the motion of the paintbrush itself also gives the illusion of a whirlwind which is uh, what the name of their jacket is and you can see in some parts of the jacket yeah there's actually like kind of you know mini whirlwinds going on what really um sold me on this jacket is it's just something that you just can't simply manufacture something that you know common high street retailers don't have and even when you look into other designers such as maybe Balenciaga and whatnot I don't think they'd have something in mind to pull something like this off that notion alone is what really like sold me on the jacket and made me want to really cop because just put, put it simply I wouldn't see this anywhere else um, I mean coupled with the fact that it's Japanese craftsmanship at work here, like you really can't go wrong so the item that I have today which I've considered uh, my 2019 grill or actually my all-time grill really because I've always wanted to get Needles track pants ever since like I saw ASAP Rocky with them. Pause. But like like for, to this day, like I think ASAP Rocky has been like a, a driving factor for the reason why I like, enjoy the needles track pant. But I think it also has evolved from ASAP Rocky to the actual designer of needles, who is Kezo Suzuki. He um is also a co-founder of the Demhenfez brand and he essentially I saw this picture of him like just wearing needles track pants which he obviously has like a plethora of other colorways of um, him just riding a bike and just it just it just like encapsulated the piece in and of itself just it being an outdoorsy piece that you can wear versatile like in a versatile dynamic way i would say i guess i guess the further on the context of the needles brand in itself um keizo suzuki was born in kofu japan which is the central part of japan and it's uh, known as to be a countryside area so I reckon like uh, there's like some articles that say that he was like a young outdoorsy guy so he obviously wanted to wear a lot of breathable clothing and so that is like heavily rooted in needles and the fact that he has clothing that's that promotes breathability and was, is maybe the reason why like the actual track pan is made of 100% polyester which is a very breathable material um, they call it the poly 100% poly uh, track pant, which is short for polyester. But um, yeah, um, you can definitely wear this track pant for like uh, seasons, all season through. Like through summer, you don't even have to wear any thermals underneath them. And even during the winter, which you'd have to wear thermals, but obviously like, it's just that nice to have that breathability and warmth with your thermals. So yeah, um, I think that's essentially it really. So yeah, how I came to purchase this track pant was, um, I think later in 2019, I received an email from Nintendo's London store, which I've uh, signed to the newsletter with. Definitely go to the store to sign uh, up to it. I don't think you can do it online. So I think you have to like contact them and then they kind of respond back to you. I don't know if they will actually put you on that list. As I said, they do pride them their stores, so definitely visit. Um, but yeah, so after receiving that email, I visited the store, uh, happened to catch this track pant which I've been eyeing. So I came to the store, uh, saw the track pant and noticed that I had a rough price of around uh, 
a reduced price of like around 190. So when I came to the store, I saw the price and I was un unbeknownst, I was surprised that like it was actually lower. So decided to purchase the item at the store. Um, obviously tried uh, different sizes because obviously they had a limited size when I came as uh, people pretty much bomb rushed the store when they noticed that, noticed that there was a sale at Independence London store. So yeah, as a result, I compromised and got the, an extra, extra small in the regular fit, well known as the classic fit uh, track pant, where it's straight fit through and through, so they didn't do any tapering or anything. So the actual fit on the track pant is quite flowy and you can kind of like uh, adjust the track pant on you to change your silhouette of how you want to wear it and it's quite cool in the sense that it's versatile in that way. Um, and yeah, I think one of some deals that I didn't mention before would be that um, the Papillon stitch, which uh, Suzuki uh, is a signature of Suzuki on all of these track pants, is inspired by the Steve McQueen tattoo from the film Papillon, which is a French term for butterfly. And yeah, in of itself, self explanatory to butterfly. And yeah, other than that, he also uses YKK zippers, which are really smooth. Uh, which kind of goes with the theme of the track pad. Um, uh, they just easily like fly open and close. There's zips for the side and back pocket, so you know your stuff is going to be kept in good storage um, on you. Um, I would also like to add he uses like a mesh pocket within, which mesh mesh material within his pocket. So not only that, you your legs get breathability, your items that you want to store in your pockets get breathability as well, especially for like iPhones they heat overheat really easily so my phone definitely like breathes in my pocket. So yeah I hope you guys found our video insightful and are aware of now the design brands that we've um, introduced you guys to. Also the pieces that we've also introduced you guys to. Uh, now without further ado I'd like to introduce Quinn. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa man. What man. You come out, you come out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the main question is, is the designer piece worth your money? And from judging from my perspective, um, you know, someone that's not really into fashion, you know, I, I like to buy clothes, obviously, but I don't really um, buy expensive kind of designer clothes. Um, I would say, I think it's a very hard decision. Yeah. Because if you think of it uh, as not from a fin financial point of view, um, I would say that I would go with purchasing or copying ja Pete's jacket but not Francis' uh, trousers because I feel like um, the jacket just stands out more it's a more unique piece and it, uh, not more of a limited piece more more like and um, it's more out like it stands out more so it, it has that type of grey or like this not like no one else has but it's, I don't right. know yeah. the track pants like some people have track pants sure. similar to it, but then that is one of its kind. Yeah, and so I would definitely say that it's a fair point. designer piece. Designer pieces are worth your money. Um, if you think about it in the kind of um, a sense where you want that grill piece, I feel like. All right, guys. Um, so I hope you found this interesting, and just remember that uh, anything you really want to buy, whatever the, whatever price point it is, and if you consider it as like a very highly valued item, then go for it. Just make sure that you kind of think a bit carefully before you buy it, because you don't want to buy something and then a week later regret buying, regret having it and having wasted all that money. Yeah, and it pays yeah. to like be be accurate in terms of like your decision making. Uh, we searched every boutique for every discount. We went in store to check it out, and I think that's an essential factor that you should have. Uh, it pays to grind it things out, uh, work hard in terms of like trying to get the item that you really want. It does. It's not it, items don't just come easy to you people. Like you can't just get. I mean, if you if you're down to pay for retail, and if you're down to like pay the full price of a piece that you really want, it's it, at the end it's your decision. Well said. Well spoken, BG. And yeah, I guess we could sign. Like we'd like to. We hope you enjoyed the content that's been shared today. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, look look out for our next video, which will is pending to happen. Yeah. And Twenty minutes later. I I would definitely say the track pant is definitely different. Like the lines are different, and the material and how it's pleated is um different to you know your standard kind of uh, 
mm. Adidas or Nike track pants, and the colorway is a bit more more unique to itself. Um, but even, like I said, in terms of like kind of striking, like something like you, you, if someone would, was wearing it across the street, um, would you realize? That, that's that's what I was thinking about. Kind of, I, not the wow factor, mm. you. yeah. I get it. It's just because I have the context, so then yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm like want mm-hmm. to know. But yeah. like, it's fair enough. Like, like, I see like, why you would based based yeah. on like you know like someone that's not really into fashion. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure maybe a fashion yeah, that's type a would be like, "Whoa, yeah. that, that's some needles." Yeah, that's that's, that's, fair. that's that's really cool. But like for someone <laughs> that doesn't know anything about fashion, <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair, 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 fair. But not half. I can't. I can't disagree not, with someone. <laughs> so it's not knowledge. No, no, no. Like, it's okay. 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 Another takeaway. Another takeaway from the chat. Where is this going, guys? Where is this going?